we have six black men versus one white secret white guy. Yo, ain't a lot, bro. This might be good. This might be good. This might be a good video to react to, bro. Let's see. What is this? I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. <laughs> oh no, nah, he already sound black. GG's, bro. They're not gonna find it, nigga, bro. Okay, for sure. Now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask: Are there any other like Africans or anybody with like any like Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't. But my mom's Ashkenazi, Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally like a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to he's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure. Oh. For sure. Uh, anyone else? Nope. Bro, chat. Yeah, I, I was, I was something. I forgot what I was, bro. Nickname. But I, I have to well, learn what I was again, chat. My, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call. I'm mixed with something, bro. But I forgot yeah, what it was. Sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they do Fitzy. I gotta learn again. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just, just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said fits, I thought it was because you had tough fits on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I too, I too How do you be black? See what you're talking about, that, bro. That too. I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You I wasn't even funny. Bad. Can we all say what we wearing? You do not have a tough I fit got, on. Uh, this bro, look at this nigga. Hold on. Tough fit on. You I wasn't even bad. funny. Can we all? Look at this fucking nigga. Like, look at his socks, bro. This nigga's a dickhead, bro. Nigga's socks are all the way up here, bro. I'll say what we wearing and everything. I got a uh, skeleton all red, varsity jacket, cargo Bro, pants you know on the crazy. side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, you crazy. No, you crazy. You I wish I could dap you up right now. I wish I could dap you up right now. But Wait, what type forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You right. Oh, I see where you're going with <laughs> you that. You said I didn't say half black, half, half white. Black, half white. Bro, that nigga has not spoken this whole time, time bro. bro. Uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Okay. He's one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head? It stinks. I don't even, I don't, I don't know. What Wait. are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Glenn. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and. <laughs> yo, nah, this nigga, yo, he got it. GG's bro, he got it bro, he got it bro. He got it, bro. <laughs> like, like, bro he got it, bro. Yeah, bro. His vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black, you know, for a second. Yeah, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's felt side. Too and then black. I grew up on Motown How is that from possible? My dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. Uh huh. Telling them, stick your ass down. Contestants yeah. <laughs> will now vote. How they think, who they think is white. Ooh. Oh shit, chat. Everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> so we're <White>? nowhere, basically. <laughs> Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm gonna start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. That nigga was not saying uh -huh. that shit, bro. Okay, I okay, like that. Uh, <laughs> me growing up half black, half white, there's certain songs that they sing that I honestly didn't that nigga, know. That, that nigga was not singing any of that shit, bro. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house. He was not saying anything, bro. What do you say? What do you say? House since what age? The movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? Who the fuck is ATL Rashad? Who is that? Am I just like out of the loop? Who the fuck is ATL Sh Sherrod? It's a famous line, y'all. I got another. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't even know the answer to that. I don't, one. Mm, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Let's complete this song. Uh, that boy got. Stretch pants. Stretch pants. What is that? What the fuck is these? Bro, I don't, I don't know, know none of these shit, bro. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook yeah. it real good. Yeah. Me and your mama we... whipping it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? I was listening so intently on, on voices, because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketing? Nigga need to shoot. Black person on the other side. So you throw out little hints, you know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah. Nigga just saying shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. Yeah. Like they know this. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 
Yeah, I'm a nigga. Yeah, I just I just realized I'm a nigga, bro. Damn. Damn, bro. I am black. Wow. Damn, bro. That's, wow. Where it was this, bro? Where it was the bro? Where it was literally the best, bro? Like, like, bro. Red was literally it was either red or orange, not orange, but like I think it was pineapple, bro. Red or pineapple, bro. That shit was best Kool Aid, bro. But I don't even drink Kool Aid like that, anyways. I like gray. I mean purple. You got some bipolar viewers, <laughs> bro. What the fuck is going on, bro? I think my shit glitched, bro. Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. I don't know what the hell going on. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we don't, my shit we don't go by We don't go by, we don't go by that. What yeah, you just yeah. said. Wait, wait, but hold up. Why is that crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. He was trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors, say stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, it's not safe. It was either if you outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't no running or, in and running out. Running up, up and inside your house, you know? So, y'all y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, 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 don't let that good air out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to black women from the 90s, who do you think of off of it? Be along. I'm going to say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh, I'm going to say, uh, 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 ah, she was, she was a rapper. Um, I don't know wow. anybody from the nineties, nigga. I was born in two thousand, bro. Or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Man, you taking forever. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther. Who was the queen? You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela her name. Bassett. There Angela you go. Bassett. Oh, there we go. go. Okay. There we go. I, I think a, a, a Whitley. Bro, that nigga is not saying anything. What is they doing? Well, I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up watching my sister Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from, from that run. That nigga is not saying um, nothing. Is that 90s? Tyra's from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, Geez. Bro! It is a question room! Oh my god. Bro, they didn't have a question room the whole time. They didn't forgot about dude. Oh shit. I mean, he is how white, so like. He's matching what is gone now, bro. When it comes to being black men, uh huh. Microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to Microaggressions, what's that? Man, I'd be chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the, for the dang for the diversity. life. For the diversity. For, for the diversity, right? I'm like, they only 5%. I got to give them credit, though, because, like, finding us is going to be a little bit tough, but, like, they, they found a way regardless. I ain't even going to lie, Loke. I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far. Like, I... <laughs> we from the streets. Yeah, that nigga is over here, bro. Nigga says streets, yeah. GG, bro. That nigga, that nigga selling, bro. He's overdoing it, bro. He's overdoing it. Like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. yeah it's like the low key. Race. He tries to argue. Yeah. Like, not like you're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a oh, grown man. Black guy. Game. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game. You walk down the street, right? And yeah, 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 yeah. Why the fuck do white people be like, oh man, I know you so well spoken, nigga? I, what the? I am. He, of course, I'm going to be well spoken. I, I used to, yo, I used to like, yo. Yo, 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 yo. I, I was like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? First thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird face, you know what I mean? Or they give you hella space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch their purse. Microaggressions. Clutch their bag. Or take the next elevator. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of that. All of that. Hella room in the elevator, too. Stare at you like, you ain't supposed to be here. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like, Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Dude. So My favorite movie growing up was probably, damn. I don't think I have a favorite movie growing up. <laughs> was For, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump was fire. I already know, uh, like, <clears throat> I am my brother's keeper, and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man, I watched the uh, the first Power Rangers movie, like, twice a day for, like, the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Power, Power Rangers? Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, oh Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin, oh, facts, facts. Hard is hard, it is. I watch, I watch anime, too. Oh, wait, you yeah. watch anime? Uh, I do. What you, do. what you like? What you like? Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Z for shows a gateway. Dragon Ball Z is cool. I'm like... Don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, that was good. Hey, hey. Watch let shot, you know let's I mean? watch a Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that Static Shock, though. Come on. I was static literally shock just was about cool. to say. Nah, static, static Shock was cool. Heroes, static, static Shock.
Uh, uh, Woo hoo! I met his voice actor, bro. He was, you did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Oh, yeah, he voices every single black, every single black. <laughs> and Samurai Jack. He's Man's black. Got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question because okay. I feel like we just gonna be be like we gonna be vibing, man. Too yeah. much, yeah. Right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. <laughs> yeah, nah. you be like. But, uh, okay, so hmm. why does that bother you? It, <laughs> 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 you didn't even have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my mm -hmm. first girlfriend, she ended up being uh, a Russian girl, and my dad yeah. was he he always used to throw hints like, hey, man. You know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I knew like the upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism and stuff. So he kind of had like the hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. Yeah. Your parents or, you know, family members like say, hey, like. I mean, my mother was from Shreveport. So, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already like in her late 50s. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga got that acid, bro. He sounds so believable, bro. He saw, okay. she wasn't playing with none of that really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love, but at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, you know, we would love for it to be a black woman, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was actually the same for me. They never said, don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that, but I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister, for sure. Like, oh, shoot, like, you're, you're with somebody who understands you, right. mm -hmm. who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis. Yeah. From the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever, too, but, like, I appreciate a sister, like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. Okay. I think a lot of things you just so... I think you just so... He probably out, right? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, bro. We have a tie between Rob and Brevin. Y'all hit Wait. that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, like I said. Um, I didn't have a yeah. traditional like upbringing as far as like dating. Um, a lot of different people because I'm a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had a, a two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, <laughs> y'all, I'm black. <laughs> My name Robert, I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA, we bounce. That nigga. All around, uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much school, and that's pretty much it. That gotta be racist. It has to be racist, right? They got they, they gotta be racist, like they gotta be racist. So what he just said it has to be racist, right? Chat on my tripping, bro. They gotta be racist. That that, that has to have some racism in it. Jesus, but now who they Brevin, think is white. It seemed like he was privileged, and I relate more to struggle. Hearing some of the things that he was saying, it kind of like made me think and like second guess. What? In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. <laughs> 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 nah, definitely racist if he made it up. And he has to be racist if he made this up, bro. It looks like he made that up again. Wow, what? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm just going to say that like the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that like, you know, that's just a case where he could like relate to a lot of like black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm. Uh, but he might not be like black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, oh, shit. oh shit. And he definitely sounds like he's from South Central for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So oh, I'm gonna say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a fact. Rob Black, you yeah. sound like people from around my way. So he, no offense to you, Brendan, but, but you got to kick I rocks. <laughs> that nigga, yo, like he has the asset. That's what I'm trying to like say, bro. Asset, I he has the asset, bro. I hear it yeah. for sure, bro. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you going to really relate or? Yeah. yeah. You know, I no think disrespect, that. What but, does hit and lick mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Bro, I need Rob for the stay, bro. That nigga, bro, that nigga, bro, he got it, bro. He got it in the bag, bro. He has it in the bag, bro. Oh my. 
take me away. Yeah, Rob sound like he know good catfish. Look at the video leave. No, that. bro, I don't want to spoil I myself, bro. A lot of times I've felt that I'm too I don't play white it, bro. for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay. It's all good. I think the mole is still in the box. I think it's zesty, if you want to continue playing the game, raise your hand. No, stop. What are you doing? 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 Are you doing? <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to get eliminated. Um, Why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was going to win. Really, I already said I was going to win. So. Oh, oh shit. You got right, this shit, so bro. Let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black people in? you know, our community and stuff like that. Since the beginning of the U.S. Okay. Um, with the obvious- You say it was gay? Oh. People, a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. Uh -huh. And more so recently, the information has been normalized to be pushed out. And this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information, with all that stuff. So we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people. Yeah. And I think that's dope. But I also think that people need to really be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even okay. though we spend some of the most money in the US, it never stays within the black community. The game banger. Yeah, that yeah, gotta elaborate. stop. Elaborate. Game man, fuck bro, that nigga yeah, too man. black bro. bro it's just, it's no too black bro, game he's gonna win bro. I mean. Uh, if you think about it, you game banging. Uh, and then it got so bad where you, you know, everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I, if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody. And if Yo, I, why is he so good at this? I get caught and I gotta go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on. It, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. I feel that. Mm. So it's just, it's, that's that's the first thing gotta go don't be so quick to buy gucci prada louis like facts i mean i'm not one to speak myself i got ricks and suvi on but at the same time like if one of the homies has a brand you should be going to go buy that yeah. you know yeah i'm not brand so like uh bro they gotta have like fire just, stuff bro uh, you more black than niggas uh, he's at a <laughs> HBCU, black than me. small one in oklahoma and uh nothing against like the school or anything that people is around but i feel like the ideas and uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around mm -hmm. from his uh, you know early childhood and whatnot because uh, have been just like not open minded to new possibilities opportunities are out there we just got you know open minded to it and try to figure out what works for us you know facts this might be on the fault of like the media but I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain and I think that there's so much more to like the black community whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something like there's just so much more to us than like you know the pain that we go through Facts. and I think that needs to be you know shown more in like our movies our tv shows just like the way we talk about like the way we talk about things like I think that there's just so much more to the black community than that I want to see black people doing goofy stuff on screen not just being slaves you know right Facts. come on now talk about it or Wait, whoa, whoa, wait. Oh yeah, he right, bro. Criminals or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or gangsters, yeah. killers. Oh, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America, but like you go to China, you go to like some of these other places. Like, I don't know, I think you're gonna get out, bro. I think you're gonna get out, bro. Why? I think he's gonna get out. I'm gonna be real. I think we're all good, bro. Same. Oh shit. No way, bro. Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Come on. What? If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. Yeah. All right. So that's unanimous. We're going to end the game right then and there, okay? No if fucking the way, bro. If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one? Three. Bro, no fucking way, bro. Two. Just think it, bro, he, he was too good one. at this shit, bro. It is red. That means the what? mole is still bro, here. That nigga was, bro, that nigga was too good, bro. You guys can lift your blindfolds and Three, <laughs> two, 
two, one. He was just too good, bro. <laughs> He was too good, bro. That's Rob. That's Rob. I'm Brevin. Brevin? Yo, what's up, Brevin? What's up, y'all? Big ups to you, yo. Big ups to you. He's too fucking good, bro. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob. Like, that was different. My name is Robert, but they call me Milk. I'm from South Central. I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out the hospital to a black mother. Okay, so, so he just, with her every he, just seven way, days he was raised That's black, crazy. basically, bro. My so. whole family was black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until I was like, That's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every birthday. But I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or is it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, yeah. juvenile oh, hall, yeah. every party. Yo, that nigga was too good, bro. He's and your whole family, good, like, they Chats just all accept you. Because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, they sat shibits for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost, um, Lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel what? Like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, low key, like the youngest one. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yo, Let's go. Yeah. All that cash, bro. What is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. Like, me personally, I'm happy. We're That's... not as monolithic as a lot of people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We all originated from Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. Facts, man. Throw your video, bro. Throw your video.